Um, and the next song I'm going to play is Amazing Grace. I obviously did not write this one. That would be blasphemous of me if I said I did. Um, but I play it because I, um, it's a special song to me. My grandfather was 94 when he passed away. Um, <laughs> there's a train. Here it comes. <laughs> uh, my grandfather was 94 when he passed away, and um, he was in hospice for six days before he died. And we have a really large family, like my big fat Greek wedding, large, very large. And so um, he was never alone for a minute when he was in there, realistically, like at all. Like people were always with him, and we kind of joked that we hoped he didn't mind because he couldn't really tell us if he was like, gosh, I wish they would go away. They were very loud. So that's kind of how the situation was. And one of the things we did with him was sing a lot. And I would bring my violin and I would play for him every day while he was in there. And one day, I he had not talked in a couple of days at this point, And I was playing Amazing Grace. And he started moaning. And the nurse came in to check on him. And she leaned in, and he was actually singing along with Amazing Grace. Um, and as the song went on, it got louder and clearer. And by the end, he really was singing. And it really reminded me the way that music sticks with us our whole lives. It's one of the first things we appreciate. I just heard a radio show about how babies um, react to music individually, like at eight, the one day old mark. I mean, like it's the first thing you recognize and it's one of the last. And so it's pretty powerful. And so I like to play this song to think of him. So this is Amazing Grace.
Thank you. Thanks.